Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Martinho. It's a promising move from Portugal. Opportunity. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. After plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It's Portugal versus Argentina. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan. Don't take risks in your defending third and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. have been jangling in the last few days but very soon the wait will be over I'm Derek Ray joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale it's Portugal versus Argentina well it's been a long journey for both these teams Derek it's not been easy but these players are 90 minutes away from making history for themselves no doubt both managers will have set out their game plans and made sure every player knows exactly what their roles are what a game we have in store for us. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio stands. That is how to apply the pressure. Diogo Jota. Here's Ronaldo. Opportunity. Well, here it is again, and credit to Bruno Fernandes and Palinha with it. And the pass could do damage, and a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So, 2-0 now. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Moutinho. It's a promising move from Portugal. Opportunity! A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job! Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the action continues and Portugal very much bossing the proceedings here. Lo Celso. Messi. And return to Messi. Oh, they have it again. Messi. Lo Celso. Opportunity here. Look at the celebrations. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. Underway again. And certainly dazzling football from Portugal in the first half. Will it be more of the same in the second? Cristiano Ronaldo. Joao Cancelo. Marcos Acuna. Can he play it in? 
However, a well thought out piece of defending. Oh, could be. And the ball is moving again, 3-2. Over the touchline for a throw. Beautifully weighted ball. Lo Celso. And he's missed it. Good heavens. Well, that's a big miss. That should have been the equaliser. It must go in, surely. Well, it's astonishing. A very unlikely comeback, but now they are level, having trailed by three. On to De Paul. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Superbly read and executed. Rodrigo Javier de Power. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Well, back underway here and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. Lo Celso. De Power. Struggling to keep the ball. Well, the possession tells you everything. Nothing really to split between the two sides. It's been an enthralling encounter up to now, with both teams playing some really good, expansive football. You just wonder if the coach would be looking at that and how they... He could pick out a teammate. And the problem not completely solved. And in the end, no damage done. And he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw-in. Read it magnificently and intercepted. And just one minute of time. Not what you want to be doing when you've already been cautioned. A final that will live long in the memory. It's not finished yet. So the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, this is what... He's gambled on direction and won. He's gone for the Panenka, but he might be wishing he hadn't. Job done from the spot. Too much elevation off the crossbar. Well, he gave it real leather, but miles off target. And the penalty converted here. He went for the so-called Panenka, but couldn't keep that down. And now a heaven-sent opportunity. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club. But for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.